All right, today's lesson, we're going to continue with dividing rationals, but we're going to look at what we call rationalizing the denominator. What that means is we're going to turn the denominator into a uh, whole number or fraction where we won't have a square root, which is an irrational number. So, so we're looking at changing the denominator. So it's sort of dividing, but in a lot of cases, you're not really changing anything. You're just sort of uh, switching the square root around. So you can see in this case, if we have 1 divided by root 2, if we rationalize the denominator, our final answer is root 2 over 2. So it looks similar, just it's a different form. So typically when you're doing your dividing, you still want to try to divide regularly or simplify and divide. That's still your best bet. And then if neither of those methods work, then usually rationalizing is your, your last choice. So if we look at this first example, we got root 30 over 5. We can divide this out regularly. So 30 divided by 6, so we get root 6. We're done. So it's a lot easier to do that if you can. Um, if we look at this one, we can't divide them. So 4 does, divided by 3 doesn't work. 14 over 3 doesn't work. And we can't simplify these. So sometimes you simplify, then it'll work. So in this case, we have to rationalize. That's our third and final option. So to rationalize, what we want to do is we want to get rid of that square root on the bottom. So that root 3 that's on the bottom, we want to multiply by the same thing because any square root times itself basically cancels out because root 3 times root 3 is root 9 and square root of 9 is just a regular 3. So usually we always just pick the whatever the root is in the bottom. We don't need to worry about that 3 in the front. We just need to get rid of the square root. So if we do that for this one, we'd get 4 times the square root of 14 times 3 is 42. And on the bottom we have 3 times regular 3. So we'd have 4 root 42 over 9. And we can try to simplify the root 42 if we can. If it works, uh, let's see, it doesn't divide by 9, doesn't divide by 4, doesn't divide by 16. So I don't think that one goes any further. So that's it. That's the way we'd leave that, that answer, and that would be our final rationalized division. So let's do a couple more. So you can see here we've got just some basic ones. We can't divide them the way they are. So we need to rationalize. We times it by root 2 and then root 2. So we times the root. But whatever we do at the bottom, we have to do on the top as well. So this one we get root 10 over 2. And that's, that's good the way it is. We don't need to simplify any further. The next one times it by root 3. So we'd have root 60 over 3. And root 60 we can simplify down to uh, 4 and 15. So that would be, root 4, root 15, divided by 3, and root 4, I'll simplify it to just 2 root 15, and that's as far as we can go with that one. Okay, the last one I've got here, we got times by root 7, top and bottom. So we'd have 7 root 7 on top, and 3 times 7 on the bottom which would be 21, and we can see we can actually cancel out. We can cancel it out first if we want. We can divide both top and bottom by 7, so our final answer just would be root 7 over 3. So those are basic rationalizing ones. They're pretty good. The challenging ones happen when we have adding or subtracting on the bottom. So you can see for this one, if we times it by root 5, like we did with the previous questions, the top's okay. We get 2 root 5 on the top. But on the bottom, when we FOIL it out, we get root 5 times root 5, which is just regular 5, so that's good. But then we also get negative 3 root 5. So that doesn't work. So by rationalizing just with the square root, the bottom doesn't get rid of it. So what we have to do is we have to what we call multiply by the conjugate. And the conjugate is the exact same thing, but we do a plus sign instead of the minus. So we just do the same as the denominator, but the opposite sign. And now we FOIL these out, so our top would be 2 root 5 plus 6. And our bottom, root 5 times root 5, is just a regular 5. Root 5 times 3, we get negative 3 root 5. And then negative 3 times 3 would be negative 9. So you can see in this case, the root 3 root 5 and negative 3 root 5 cancel. So we find end up getting 2 root 5 plus 6 on top. And 5 minus 9 would be negative 4 on the bottom, and we're done. The only thing we can do with this one, I guess, is we could divide out. we got a 2, 4, and 6. We can divide out by 2, and usually we don't usually put a negative on the bottom either. So let's divide everything by negative 2, because that would give us negative root 5 minus 3. 
over positive 2 on the bottom. And that would be the best way to write that. You don't really need to worry so much about the negatives, but it's a good habit to get into if you can. Okay, so that's what we just did on the previous one. We times it by the conjugate. So remember the conjugate, opposite of the bottom, but the same terms. So you can see here we got root 5 minus 1, so we want to times it by root 5 plus 1. So on the top we'd have 4 root 5 plus 4. And on the bottom we get root 5 times root 5, which is just 5. The middle terms are going to cancel, so we can just skip them. And then we get minus 1 times 1 would be 1. So you can see in this case we have 4 root 5 plus 4 all over 4. So once again we can take out a common term. In this case we can take out the 4s. So we just get root 5 plus 1. Don't forget about that 1 over 1, which doesn't need to be there. So we just can write it as root 5 plus 1 would be the simplest answer for that one. All right, the next one, we got 3 minus root 3, top and bottom, so we want to times it by plus. So 3 plus root 3 would be the conjugate. So when we multiply out the top, we get 9 plus 3 root 3. Foil out the bottom, we get 9 minus 3. We don't need to worry about the middle terms. So that gives us 9 plus 3 root 3 over 6. And once again, we can cancel out a 3 out of each term. So we'd have 3 plus root 3 over 2 would be our best final answer for that one. And our last one, we have root 6 minus 2. I'll write it over here. I don't have enough room, but we'd have root 6 plus root 2 as our conjugate. So when we follow all at the top, you can see we get 6. Then we get root 12, another root 12, and then a regular 2. And on the bottom, we get 6 minus 2. So if we simplify the top, we have 8 plus 2 root 12 over 4. And let's, we can even break down our root 12 into root 4, root 3, and the root 4 is just regular 2. So all of that will simplify to 2 plus 4 root 3 over 4. And let's divide out our 4 again. So we get 2, and the other ones would cancel. So we should just get 2 plus root 3 as our final answer. And that's it for rationalizing. So it's pretty easy. You just basically got to look for dividing questions. And if you can't divide by simplifying or easy dividing, then rationalizing is your only option.